Hello guys, welcome back to the Brute Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about a project that in my opinion is extremely undervalued right now with the current, you know, downward trend in the cryptocurrency markets. And this project is called the Thor Chain or Rune Token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any of the projects that we cover on our channel. For this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website thorchain.org in order to learn more about this project, right? So again, uh, Thor Chain is a large market cap cryptocurrency which has its own components and one of its main popular products is its decentralized exchange, especially uh, the native, you know, the, uh, the project itself has made native asset swaps or uh, cross-chain swaps available for several popular cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and so on and so forth and this has made this has been made possible thanks to ThorChain right and that's making ThorChain one of the most um, you know um, you know break cutting edge innovations in the crypto space right so again if you go to their website you can clearly see some of their uh, you know in, some of the information about what their project is uh, you can see through their videos uh, they also have nft options and they also have multiple different products which all have their own kind of function but one of the main product that we're going to talk about is going to be thor swap right which is a product that uh, is going to be uh, you know uh, a revolutionary project in the crypto space in the coming uh, months and since this project has been live it hasn't gotten a lot of traction compared to several other pro, you know uh, swap based or amm based projects but uh, if you take a look at uh, tarswap.finance which is one of their products one of their premium uh, products you can clearly see that um, the website is not only very well done but it also offers a lot of information about the tarswap protocol itself right so tarswap has about 76.22 million dollars in total liquidity locked and uh, its 24 hour trading volume is about 25.16 million dollars and the current price of rune which is their native token is six dollars and 22 cents right so if you go to some of their uh, information on the top right corner they have their chaos net they have a desktop app and you can also access the test net if you want to you know uh, see how it looks like uh, you can also access their community page such as Twitter, Discord, Telegram and so on and so forth and also uh, learn more about this project itself by clicking on the FAQ section, right? So again, if you see what uh, ThorChain is, it's a decentralized liquidity network that facilitates cross-chain liquidity pools within uh, with no pegged or wrapped tokens. So again, it's a cross-chain based decentralized liquidity uh, exchange which allows for facilitation of uh, cross-chain swaps without the need for a pegged token or a wrapped token. Let's say, for example, if you make a swap between um, Ethereum and wrapped Bitcoin on the Ethereum blockchain, the wrapped Bitcoin is basically a tokenized version of Bitcoin and it is not the actual Bitcoin, right? So if you have made a wrapped Bitcoin uh, transactions or in Bitcoin transactions, you're basically working with something that is a wrapped version of the to uh, wrapped version of bitcoin and not the actual bitcoin itself right but tar swap allows it po to be possible to facilitate cross chain uh, you know exchange of tokens and that's something that's extremely uh, you know groundbreaking right and if you see uh, tar swap is the world's first multi chain dex the utilizes the tor chain network to provide a front end user uh, user interface to perform cross chain swaps it is done in a permissionless trustless and non custodial manner there are no pegged or wrapped assets it is purely native so again uh, tor swap is one of the products that exists on the tor chain network uh, and as we discussed its main focus is to provide you know native chain liquidity for decentralized ex exchange facilities right so the Thor chain difference, Thor chain offers the following breakthroughs, complete transparency on the liquidity and logic of the entire network at all times, 
uh, distribution of risk across the 99 thor nodes permissionless access to global liquidity manipulation resistant price feeds deterministic always on liquidity uh, for all assets shared incentives for all participants non custodial staking of assets and on chain swaps with no pick tokens again they offer some of the most um, convincing arguments when it comes to uh, why you should choose thor chain swap or thor swap right because it offers so much benefits when it comes to permissionlessness uh, you know complete transparency uh, you, you can basically in, uh, you know get, be guaranteed that the distribution of risk is well spread out within their 99 thor nodes uh there is no uh, price manipulation uh you know and also you have um, on chain liquidity at all times and shared incentives uh you know you can also do it fully in a non custodial manner in a decentralized uh, non custodial manner and you don't really obviously have to work with peg tokens right and they basically have other information on the faqs about how you can basically move from the chaos net to the thor swap uh, you know thor's main net thor chain's main net so that's basically something that you can look into as well right but when it comes to the actual user interface if you click on the use the dab button on the uh, you know on the previous screen uh, you will be uh, taken to the thor swap.finance page app.thorswap.finance page where you can basically create your own wallet and see uh, some really in- important information uh that will help you to understand what this project is all about right so it has a lot of information when it comes to total liquidity total value locked uh liquidity apy and so on and so forth so if you want to earn some passive income on some of your cryptocurrencies such as bitcoin ethereum litecoin on their native tokens without having to wrap them or you know take them to some other you know uh you know, some other chain such as binance smart chain and lock it as btcb you can basically uh, use the native bitcoins to earn uh, your rewards you know paid out uh, in you know thor tokens right so if you see bitcoin is one of the most uh, you know popular uh, cryptocurrencies that's available and you can basically see how uh, bitcoin has a lot of liquidity uh you know it has a lot of uh, volume ethereum also has high liquidity you can basically see binance coin in its native chain B- bep2 uh you know usdc coin you can trade it in its erc20 uh, format without having to convert it into some other chain uh you can also see bep2 version of uh, bitcoin which is btcb and you can even do arbitrage right and you also some have some unique uh, exotic cryptocurrencies such as uh, alchemix or alcx which uh, is in the ethereum blockchain uh, dodo which is also a very exotic uh, cryptocurrency kylin which uh, again is a polka dot project but currently is on the ethereum blockchain uh, holo chain perp yearn finance ave cream finance uh, alpha synthetics uh you know uh, travala as well as uh, hedgic so some really popular huge market cap uh, cryptocurrencies along with uh, some really exotic cryptocurrencies as well uh it's also surprising that they don't really have um some other popular names uh, such as doge coin or uh, you know uh, you know xrp or something like that because uh, you know th- these uh, other cryptocurrencies that are also popular in the top 20s or even top 10s uh, have a lot of uh, liquidity so it's surprising to see that they don't have these options but uh, again if you are able to scroll to the right you'll be able to see that uh, there are rewards that you can earn uh, for 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 the purpose of this video you can't really see the uh, you know APYs on the next column which is after the 24 hour volume column but uh, basically bitcoin has somewhere between 7 to 12% APY uh you know paid out in rune tokens uh ethereum also has somewhere you know about uh, 11 to 14% APY again these uh, APYs can fluctuate right but you can basically deposit your crypto here and uh, you know in the native chain and earn rewards paid out in rune tokens and rune tokens uh you know you can basically earn them in their own native tokens as well so there's so many benefits to doing this because you will be able to uh, first of all 
not have to change your tokens to Bob Raptor token every single time and you can earn some passive income in the form of rune token which is basically a very powerful token uh, that also has a potential to explode right so that's some of the main kind of overview of uh, thor chain's uh, rune token uh, and it's a platform itself or thor swap itself so let's go to the coin gecko page and in coin gecko the current price of uh, rune token is six dollars and 28 cents with a 21.6 percent decrease in the past 24 hours again due to the market dumping and this token is currently ranked 54th by market cap it's currently worth uh, 1.7 billion dollars uh, so the market cap has kind of like shrunk and this is an opportunity for people to get in uh, to this token if they haven't uh, you know uh, paid attention to it before right so the max supply of the rune token is 500 million tokens again a very large number obviously you know not really in ideal range which is basically less than 100 million tokens but it's five times more than 100 million tokens and that's something that can potentially be concerning especially considering the fact that there's only like a, you know a slightly more than 50 percent of the tokens in circulation which isn't really that great but it's also not really that bad right if you take the market cap to the tvl ratio in the other hand you can clearly see that the total value locked in the project itself seems to be 83.9 million dollars worth of tokens but the market cap is 1.7 billion so the discrepancy between market cap to the total value locked is about 20.26 which is indicating that this token is extremely overvalued again i would personally disagree because i know that that number can be enticing uh, for many people but again this number is not always reflective of the real life scenario yes the total value locked may not be that high but the token itself the rune token is basically serving as the you know the main token that allows for uh, exchange to happen within the thorswap ecosystem right so how the how that works is basically people can provide liquidity on tar swap either as a single token asset or they can pool uh, you know half of you know 50% in rune 50% in bitcoin let's say for example right um, so rune token acts as this intermediary that enables the swap to happen because all swaps are designated through the rune token so since rune is basically facilitating all of this it's kind of like a very important token because it facilitates cross chain exchange right and based on that value i believe that this token is still uh, again i wouldn't say it's undervalued i would probably say that it's uh, fairly valued and it has a high potential to grow right so i wouldn't really take the market cap to tvl ratio that seriously in this case and if you take the charts itself you can clearly see that uh, the rune token has had some incredible rally uh, touching an all time highs of about $20 per token but now it's uh, you know uh, declined significantly and it's currently in a steep downward trend which uh, poses a good opportunity for people who want to buy this token obviously after doing their own research and you know dollar cost into this token right so if you take the price point for this token this token has existed uh, since uh, you know 2019 and the price chart is available from July 20 2019 and the token was worth 2 cents at the time people who got in at that time probably experienced some really good gains uh, in the you know uh, recent bull run uh, but if you see the token had been gradually increasing and since december late december last year the token exploded from you know being slightly less than a dollar per token all the way till reaching an all time highs of about 20 dollars per token right so again the volatility of this token is extremely high despite being some billion dollars in valuation right uh, but since then this token has been declining and now uh, it seems to be breaking uh, you know through the $7.50 uh, range and i think it will definitely break below the $5 range as well uh, if you wait a bit longer you can probably get it at uh, close to $5 or even below $5 and you know if 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 everything turns out to be you know in the downward trajectory continuing uh, through the next week as well right so i would probably say that uh, if you are interested in buying this token obviously after doing your own research it would be a good time to start dollar cost averaging in or start preparing your 
your fiat or uh, you know stable coins in order to uh, buy this token right so if we take the bitcoin compared to the other hand this token was initially worth 237 satoshis per token uh, in july 2019 and you know it's been obviously going in an upward upward trend uh, when this uh, token was initially worth 5000 satoshis or less uh, you know late december last year and early january this year from that price point it went to an all time highs of about 48000 satoshis per token right and then now it's kind of in a declining trend i suggest uh, you know people who obviously want to invest in this token through bitcoin uh, you know not really you know uh, start investing right away because this token can go lower because bitcoin itself seems to be uh, you know on the path to going below you know 30000 dollars uh, and even below 20, 27000 dollars right so at that time this token will dump even harder with bitcoin comparative and that will be a very good opportunity to buy right if you take the ethereum comparative on the other hand again the token price uh, has been way more volatile on ethereum rather than bitcoin as well as usdt comparison uh, but the price of one token was uh, 7200 gwe uh, you know and then it moved it was quite volatile during you know mid last year when the token was uh, you know at an all time relative at all time high at uh, the time of about 0.002 ether per token and then making an actual all time highs of above 0.007 uh, to- uh, ether per token and then now it's in a downward trend it seems like in the ether compared to this token seems to be going in a relatively smooth downward pattern which means it is a good opportunity to dollar cost average in if you have some ether right so for bitcoin comparative i would probably suggest waiting for a bit longer but for ether and dollar comparative i think it's a really good uh, entry point at least right if you are looking into dollar cost averaging this so when it comes to exchanges itself this token has ample of liquidity because it is listed on uh, binance ftx uh, as well as several other exchanges as well you can also get it from you know thor swap itself you can swap it uh, directly with your uh, you know bitcoin or some some other cryptocurrencies but bear in mind that when you are using thor swap you definitely need to hold a little bit of thor tokens as gas fee because the thor native token acts as the gas for the thor swap ecosystem since it's a separate chain it's definitely going to be you know a little bit more of a learning curve for people but once you learn to use it it's a very easy and very user friendly Uh, you know platform right so if you want to buy this token binance would be the best opportunity to buy uh, uh, binance would be the best option to buy this token but uh, you can also get it from you know uh, ftx or even uh, on thor swap itself right so what's my final verdict on this token i believe that this token has kind of paved the path for cross chain decentralized exchanges to exist especially when it comes to native cryptocurrencies such as ethereum native bitcoin native litecoin native and so on and so forth right so i think since this token since this project has facilitated this uh, as long as they continue to add to this where for some uh, for for uh, you know for some time if they continue to add a whole variety of tokens then this you know platform would be gaining a lot more traction and then you can clearly see that you will clearly be able to see that the market cap to the total value lock ratio would start balancing out and then uh, they can slowly add some privacy based tokens which is basically monero or zcash which would revolutionize this uh, entire platform and it will basically be the hub for people to make decentralized cross chain uh, tokens especially with tokens between bitcoin and monero transactions which will be a huge deal right i i can definitely see that happening with uh, thor chain and that's one of the reasons why i'm extremely bullish on this project i'm dollar cost averaging into this project but if you want to invest in this project please do your own research because uh, again it is a relatively risky project uh, it's not well known and it's a project that can definitely make some insane gains in the future but for now there could be a lot more price depreciation especially if bitcoin continues to go down right again remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye